Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a get ready with me and I know it's been a long time since I've done a video so I kind of just wanted to do like a chit chat get ready with me kind of video and yeah. So if you want to watch this video then keep watching. As you can see I already did my eyebrows. I didn't do them on camera just because it takes me a little bit more time but if you would like to see a video on how I do my eyebrows then leave your comments down below. So the first thing that I will so the first thing that I will be using is the MAC Paint Pot and Soft Ochre and I will be priming my eyes with this one. And I just use my finger, I really don't do much. Just because it makes it easier instead of me having to use a brush. So I'm just gonna be applying that all over. So the reason why I've been um, kind of MIA is because I haven't really had time to do videos or anything like that because I've been working at a salon. For those of you who don't know, I am a cosmetologist. So um, yeah, that's been the reason why and I just haven't had time to do any videos but I'm trying. Doing is prime. Okay, so the next thing I will be doing is setting my eye area and I'm just using the Rimmel setting powder. After I set my eyes and everything, I will be using the Dose of Colors Ice Cream Palette. Isn't that cute? The name is so cute. Um, so this is what the palette looks like. I want to use this palette and kind of like use this glitter right here I don't, I don't know if the right here if it will focus so I want to use this glitter and this glitter is by eye candy so before I go in with the dose of colors um, palette I will be using a transition color and I will be using this shade from the Veggie Snape palette um, I know it's kind of like limited edition and you can't get it right now but um, that's what the shade looks like and I love that shade just to um, you know kind of um, blend in my eyeshadow and I will also be using the E35 blending brush with that so I'm just gonna blend in blended look you know After I apply my transitional color I will be using the dose of colors and I will be using the color tone to darken up the crease a little bit more so I will be using that shade so I will be using the Anastasia brush it's a dual brush and I will just be applying that color there in the crease And for my eyes, sometimes I like to use the stabbing method just because I do um, feel like it helps my eyes a little bit better when I use that method for my um, eye shape. So what I mean by that is I just will put my brush in there. And just blend that out. So the next shade I will be taking is Blueberry Swirl and I'm just going to be using this angle 
brush by Sigma, it's the E70, and I'm just gonna keep working my way through the, um, the crease. be taking the Morphe M505 and just blend blah, blah. I'm just gonna blend that out and it doesn't have any product And going back with my Sigma brush, I will be taking this shade right here called Hot Fudge. And I'm just going to be placing that through the outer V. And then I will be taking the MAC Pro Concealer Corrector Palette and taking this shade right here. I'm gonna Rose water with my brush. I'm taking the shade right there and just applying that to my eyes. And I'm patting it. I'm not like going into it, just patting motions in my. The shade is really pretty. Then I will be taking my eye candy liquid, it's a base for glitters and it works really good. And anytime you do glitter looks, you want to do um, your foundation afterwards just because it's pretty messy once it's, you know, all over the place. It, you can't really do much about it. So before I apply my lashes, I will be um, coating my lashes with some mascara. And this is the Super Sizer CoverGirl Mascara. I will be using the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner, and this is the shade. I will be applying that to my waterline. Okay, so moving on to the face, I will be using the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. And then 
I will also be applying some of these Sephora Lemony Drops. I will be moving on to my concealer and I will be using the Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline and this is in the shade 20. It's going to be um, highlighting the areas like my under eye area. Also my forehead and I'm gonna be going down the bridge of my nose and in my smile area and then also my chin. So I will just be blending that out with my beauty blender. I like to blend out like my forehead first and the sides my chin and then I'll go in with my eyes and just dabbing on it My under eye area I will be using MAC Emphasize and just using my Sigma Kabuki Bake Kabuki. So this brush is actually to bake but I will not be baking today. I'm just gonna set my under eye area. But I love this brush to set my under eye area for a lot of reasons. Really good. To bronze up my face, I will be using the Marc Jacobs bronzer, and this bronzer is really good. I really like it. So I'm just gonna take it in and bronze up my face. I like to bronze first, it really doesn't matter. I honestly think it's the same thing if you bronze first and then contour. So, um, It just depends. And then just taking it in. So the next thing I'm gonna be contouring, I will be using the Kat Von D shade in light palette. As you can see, it's kind of beat up. I do have a new one, but I want to finish using this one. And I will be taking the shade right here, right there. And I will be using my Sigma E05. And this is such a nice brush. For my blush, I will be using the Tarte Color Wheel. So this is not available, but um, I really like Tarte blushes. They are amazing. So you cannot go wrong with any of them. I really enjoy them. So I will be taking this shade right here. This is one of my favorite shades. And I will be using the Sigma F10. And this has actually been one of my favorite brushes to put my... Um, blush it really just looks nice and to put your blush you just gotta smile so, yeah. these blushes are amazing like I'm telling you really like them and yeah and then So the next thing I will be doing is using the Wet n Wild Foundation Photo Focus and I'm in the shade Soft Beach. And just really love this foundation. 
for five or four ninety nine. It's actually really good. And I do have dry skin, so for the for those of you who are wondering if it works on dry skin, it does if you have a really, it does work if you have a really good um, primer for it. Using this shade right here, MAC Nylon, and I will be using that for my outer eye corner. And this shade is really pretty. So the next thing, is my favorite thing, highlighting. I will be using the Nicole Guerrero by Anastasia. And I will be using the Anastasia A23 brush to highlight. Honestly guys, this brush is the bomb. It just helps your um, highlighter look even better. And I forgot to mention that I will be using the Glow Getter. I will be using the Glow Getter to highlight and this shade is amazing like this look up I will be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Lip Liner and this is in the shade Rose it just, it's really nice Using the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Bombshell. This is my favorite color. Guys, I really recommend this shade. It just it's really good. And I have to say that her liquid lipsticks are my favorite. They smell really good. Okay guys, so that completes this makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye!